good afternoon to you all. And uh, this Saturday meeting has been becoming the life for all of us. And this life is going to continue. What we feel about our life? Usually when we think, it is only between the birth and the death. Understanding. We have to perceive, we have to see, we have to understand what life is. Our system of medicine, homeopathy, it, is a, it has been regarded as the holistic system. Holistic means that we see the things beyond, beyond what we see. Visibility, visibility and looking into the invisible. So combining the invisible and visible is important. And when we think about the life, we think only because between the birth and the and when we think about the birth, immediately the mind comes to us. But how much we remember about our birth? How much the concept of the life mind is there? That uh, how we are born, how we grew up, how we become a man, and how we we are going and where we shall go. So these are the basic questions which is very much related to our day-to-day -day life as well as to the problem. And between this life, there is a problem and there are the health. So health and life, health and the disease, it seems to be the inseparable part. And both of them exist. They have to be there because unless there is a disease, we cannot say that okay, we are healthy, and unless uh, so, it is vice versa, and it is reversible to each. So every moment we have the problem, and every moment we have so the problem and solution are the important part aspect of the life, and that is within our consciousness. Consciousness is very important for us, and when we think of this, uh, as a man who is suffering, our problem, our life understanding and our perspective for uh, understanding this subject is to see as a medical man. So I have taken up this subject to make us understand and to feel as if it is a direct need to understand the things in reality. What is the symptom and what is the of the totality of the symptom. So all the so much we have perspective. And then when we go at the, at the end of the life, we have to go into the tomb. So this is a journey. I feel life is definitely a journey for all of us. And a journey into this. We shall see. We shall have the problem. We shall look into the problem. At what stage, what type of the problem is it going to appear? Because we are also concerned with the positive stuff. And during every stage, it is very much uh, accidents and the things that have to get associated. It is very much associated with our life. The changes, and every moment is changing. And with every moment of the change, there are likely rules that there will may be the accident or there may be the problem around. So during the phase of the thing, during the phase of the person, nothing is constant. And at that time, the, and, and the, they, they becomes the turning point for our life. Turning point. Yes, there are the natural turning points. There are the natural turning points from childhood to uh, adolescence and adolescence to the adult and adult to the old. These are the natural changes here. But in between those, there are also unnatural changes. So in this uh, in the phenomena of the change and stages of life, we have the problem and what the problem gets initiated and they are the remarkable milestones for our life. Remarkable milestones, milestones of the life. 
and they are important. The evil uh, is suffering from inversing there are the objects in the elements from elements from the changes the world taking elements from the head injury elements from such and such and in the mental chapter also in the physical chapter also and in the general chapter also the history of the of the type of history of the so many illnesses are there and all these things that can be understood only when we are able to understand at what age religion is going to start at what age uh, what, uh, what age the yes, initiation is normal and what age it is not normal we have to uh, we are going to look into this matter today life is a journey and it is from the womb and end in the tomb it starts it starts the sooner the sooner a egg is fertilized by the sperm egg is fertilized mind it egg is fertilized by the uh, by by the sperm and that moment a new consciousness gets generated a new consciousness gets generated and that new the and at that moment with the unification of the womb uh, unification of the sperm and the um, uh, eggs can have there may be an accident also there may be an accident and so and there are the genetic understanding also we have to take into the consideration so it is a from womb to the tomb from the womb to the tomb like this 10% what happens to you and 90% how you respond the contribution uh, in that happens and 90% how we respond how we take over that change how we get adjusted so this is accommodation between the change and our life accommodation between the change and our life is very important factor for us people are like the ocean some parts are visible some parts are visible but most of uh, the element of truth and truth of the dark mystery this is the dark mystery how much we know about ourselves and how much you know about the universe the place we live that, that becomes the world for us and place where beyond us they are the imagination and they are the, under the sea so these are the aspects very important and before the life also the past life journey It is invisible with stress of remnant to the parent system. Our parents, they are the contributor. They are the contributor to our present life. The, we are surviving. We are living. We have started this, uh, and we are we are indebted to them. We are indebted to them. Why? Because they have given us life, and what they along with the life they have given us. The Along with the life, the problem. So we have, we are the grateful to them for giving both happiness and the disease for for us. So mind it as a practitioner. I am very much practical about what we have received. Thanks. We have received the traits of the disease. We have received the large amount of the money, and we have received uh, a good, a healthy life. But multiple type of the disease we take good presentations for our life so inherit so it is a matter of inheritance we inherit we inherit physical mental property through the genetic transference provide the background for constitution constitution our genetic what, what will be our height what will be our type of the face what will be our mental stability what type of the mental structure it is dependent many a factors are there there are that become the constituent and the basic material for our life so it is a matter of inheritance we in everything we in there is environmental inheritance the place we are born the place we are born that is the environment organic inheritance along with the, the things that we are born 
and the, what we have developed in culture. So cultural inheritance, environmental inheritance, and organic inheritance have the impact on our constitutional matter. What will be my it counts. it is adapted to the change phenomena and whether it is a natural phenomena for them. Because we as a medical practitioners, we are concerned with the changed phenomena. We are interested with the changed phenomena. And we have to understand how this environment has changed my life. How this culture has changed my life. How this organic transference inheritance has changed in my changed our life. So it is a see this is a things that we get with the, the, the career is the father, career is the mother, and they get uh, uh, when they conjugate, we have the normal 25% are normal, 50% are carrier, and 25% uh, and are affected. So, majority of the persons who are born, they are, they become the carrier, inheritance of the carrier. Some are very normal, they are happy, they are good, and they are lucky. They are lucky, I say. But they may, most of them, more than 50% are the carrier. They carry on, carry on. They may transfer to some other generation. And 25% are affected. They become diseased. They become suffer. So there are the genetic disorders, sufferings um, in, uh, with the people that is there in our life. We are born out of the love. Birth is the outcome of and love is a flower which turns into a fruit of at the marriage. This is a finished proverb. Love, love, what is love is a flower which turns into a fruit at the marriage. So birth is the outcome of love. We are born out of the love between our parents. And with their love, only we are born. Whether it is like that or not. Yes, it is every time it is not like that. Because every time there, there, sometimes there are compulsions, sometimes they are strained, and sometimes there are pressure and this thing. So they are affecting the part of our life. Our parents may have the constraint, very really strange relationship among the parents. And with that, they conjugated. The one partner wanted to have the sex, and another partner don't want it to have. Uh, is it a love? No. And how is the, if the, that get conjugated and if that, that gets fertilized, what type of the fertility that is, what type of the mind that we are going to get. The chromosomal changes, chromosomal changes will take place. So journey of life begins with the all instinct of the past inherited from the parent. What is there that it, it starts with the inheritance of the past that is there. And inheritance character, inherited character in the genes are not always harmonious. Disease character provides a ground for the nurturing of miasmatic development. How we, what happens? The miasmatic nurturing. So some uh, mild, some aspects of the mild, we are born with the miasmatic. So many of the persons, people start ask, when the mild starts uh, enters into our life, after the birth or before the birth. In some cases, they are before the birth and some cases after the birth, during the birth. Now, how we are born? Millions of sperm, not one, not two, not three, millions of the sperm are trying to fertilize a single ovum, only one succeed. Only one sperm is going to succeed, not all, only one. Out of the million, so what type of the life it is? What type of the birth it is? It is a birth out of the competitions. In our day-to-day -day life, we see a job posted taken, and for that, thousands of the applications are there. One thousand, two thousand, five thousand, in some thousands. But our life, when we are born, 
millions of the people are trying to get one for uh, they get for the one job one job for millions one job and one success so this is the uniqueness of our life so life is born out of the competition entering after a competition is success so and personality born on this earth because we are if we are successful we are successful and what happens to the successful man whether he is going to for the life or he is going to suffer for the life or whether he is going to uh, what type of the life he is going to have so at the time of the birth there are the we get the defected because i think accident is by liable to come any time any in our life and at the birth also there are the defect genetic problem causes when one or more genes doesn't work properly or part of a gene missing problem with chromosomes such as having an extra chromosome missing a part of the chromosome there may be the more or there may be the some chromosomes may be so two main type of the birth defects are there there are the structural defects and there are the functional defects and when we think about the structural defects we can think that they are the beginning of the cephalic they are born with the cephalic character and when with the functional defects we can think that they are born with the psychotic character the psychotic character and cephalic character may be the beginning in most of the cases but not in all not in all there may be the sorry but basically where their structural defects are there we can think we have to think like that of the uh, structure yeah. like the physical problems include slip sleep slip palate heart defect so many problems are there friends there are the nervous system or brain problems also some child are born with the mental disorders bill syndrome fragile syndrome down syndrome autism so many so nervous problem there we are born some of the people then there, there are the sensory problems such as the blindness cataract visual problems they are born like that and metabolic disorders some children are born with the thyroid metabolic thyroketonuria uh, or hypothyroidism then degenerative disorders degenerative disorders uh, rel syndrome muscle dystrophy lysosomal dystrophy are the degenerative disorders birth defects are caused by a combination of the factors some recognized patterns of birth defects affect many parts or process in the body leading to both structural and functional problems now come to the uterine life after the fertilization our life begins in, in a, a small narrow space floating in the fluid uterine life just imagine that for the nine months you are living in a caged place geared for the nine months geared for the nine months the sooner you are born sooner you are born you are put inside the jail but and what type of the jail you are put inside the floating in the fluid fluid and it you are totally dependent on the eating and what mother is behaving and what is the state of the mind is like that so don't you feel that it, there may be there may be the problem uh, arising at these places so what defect generated in the uterine life now the nutrition in the pregnancy may be problem extra external physical shock or uh, constant uh, due to the growth the restricted space for multicellular organism that develops in the womb, womb the physical interference or presence of other similarly developing organisms such as twins and developmental factors that a woman is exposed to during pregnancy such as rubella or german beetle while pregnant or use of the drugs and alcohol in the pregnancy so these are the factors we have to look look into the consistency for the looking in we start then uh, group b strep is one of the many bacteria that can live in the body and usually don't cause any problem it is typically found 
in the urinary, digestive, and reproductive organs. Then uh, pregnant women are also passes the infection to their baby during the labor and the delivery. And early onset of infection, the most common type occur during the first week of the life. And late onset infections develop in, in baby weeks to months after the birth. Fever, feeding problems, breathing problems, irritability, or fuginess, inactive or lumpiness, inability to maintain an adequate body temperature. So these are the constraints, these are the problems that we can look for during the case taking process. Friends, so now we are going to be released from the jail. We are going to be released from the jail. It is a freedom from gay life within the womb. Now the birth is there. And at that moment also, at that time also, there the problem may set into your life. Some babies faces delivery room complications. What, what are the meconium aspirations? Some child who are born, they just swallow their fetal, uh, fetal matters. And that becomes the meconium, that is known as meconium aspiration. They swallow it, they get into it. Then fetal distress, bridge crop positions, they are born. Then placenta previa, mutual cord, cephalo, cephalopelvic disproportion and labor inductions and elective cesarean. Now the cesarean people are becoming more common among the society because mother don't want to take the pain, don't want to bear the pain. Or even if they don't want to be, um, uh, don't, don't work the cesarean, but they are compelled from the nursing homes to get the cesarean because they don't want to waste the time. Then instrumental delivery is also there. And mechanical fetal injury is also there and intrapartum asphyxia follows in. So these are the birth defects uh, and that needs to be found or looked on at. Because we may say that how the patient will tell us. Now on the basis of the imagination, on the basis hypothetical questioning should be there. It is necessary that you should ask the parents how the baby was, how it behaved, and what was the problem, at what time it cried, what time it didn't cry, and they will give you some hints about it. And then if you, they, some may have the history, some may not have the history. Don't worry for that. But we have to be um, asking for you to do that. So journey of life begins with a dormant mind and most dependent body. Now, how we are born? We are born with a dormant mind. In such, in such an age, it is very, very dormant. Which is nothing we can do with our mind. And the body is almost dependent, almost we are completely dependent on others. So this is the beginning of our life. We are most helpless creature being born on this earth. Dr. Henneman writes in his Medicines of Experience. Most helpless creature born on this earth. Most helpless creature we are born. If the mother will not feed us, we will die. If we are not covered up with the blankets, we will die. And we cannot feed ourselves, we cannot live ourselves, we cannot eliminate, clean ourselves. Nothing we can do. We have to become, be dependent on the mother's mind and the parents. The helpless. We are helpless, but not hopeless. Man regarded as an animal has been created helpless than any other animals. This is the wording that Harriman had used in the medicines of experience. Man alone painfully escapes from his mother's womb, soft, tender, naked, defenseless, helpless, and destitute of all that can render his existence supportable, destitute of all whether that nature richly indulge the work of the dust to render it a happy life. Man is subject to a far larger number of diseases than animals. See, why? Because we are helpless. Animals, they have some say, they have been gifted with some of the instruments. They can, they have protect themselves, but we cannot. We are born with the secret knowledge of the remedial means for those invisible enemies of the life, instinct, uh, which man doesn't possess. We don't have the, the, 
when you see a dog and become sick at some time uh, having vomiting you can see that if that dog dog is looking and searching in the grass meat and they saw it and they get well and uh, almost every type of the animal they know what is their remedy but we do we know no our medicine no we have forgotten because we are proud we are intellect we have we are proud to be intellectual man so we have forgotten what are the reality so behold the eternal source of all love only thing is this inherited man of of the animal nature in order to endure him all the more richly with the, the spark of divinity a mind what we have we have the mind which enables mind to elicite from himself the satisfaction of all his requirements i can do it and a full measure of all conceivable benefit and to develop for from himself the innumerable advantages that exalt the children of this earth for far away every other living thing a mind we have mind 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 we are the human intellect we are the human intellect this is the this is the best journey of the life a mind that is indestructible it itself you cannot destroy the mind it's capable of creating of what of its finite it can create the own universe it can build his own domain it can build his own uh, sovereign so this is you can be the master you can be the servant this depends on your mind the most powerful means for the sustenance protection defense and comfort than any of the most favored creatures that can most have being there right directly from the nature the father of mankind is deeply the con of the see the beautiful painting the beautiful painting and this beautiful who can create it only the human being only the human being and this can be done only by the human being the help of this body can afford itself for the removal of the disease but a small and very limited so that the human mind is so much and more compelled to employ for the care of the disease of the body remedial power of more efficient kind that it seems good the creator to implant in the organic tissue alone so now we see the childhood now we come to the childhood it is what is childhood childhood is the age span ranging from birth to the adolescence so it can be divided into three parts fully dependent then partially dependent and then independent childhood is divided into the development stage development stage from learning to walk that we call the toddlerhood then early childhood we are the playing age everything is playful and then middle child that is the school now the mind, building of the mind construction of the mind and adolescence becoming the youth now trying to become the changes the puberty to the post puberty and various childhood factors could affect a person's attitude formation many of the attitudes that we have that we carry it is it was built and formed at childhood one there is a beautiful line from the poem, from a poem child is the father of man child is the father of man it simply means what attitude that we have developed within at the childhood that will can carry the become the part of your life the struggle and sustenance and endurance many a child are not so much lucky to have the parents many a child are not so much lucky that their parents are very rich they are born in the family and they learn the things more faster than the children who are born with the uh, with the others rich family if children born in the poverty they know and they realize the life much earlier and children who are born uh, in a very rich family with the silver spoon in their mouth they learn later on because not they don't have to struggle so struggle and sustenance are the endurance factor for the life so this you have to understand that how much the struggling person how much the person can realize the problem the problem is more realized and understood to those persons who have made a struggle 
and persons who have not realized. So the sensitivity of the pain is more to the persons who have not struggled in their life. The person who have struggled much in their life, they will have less sensitivity towards the pain. So adolescence. Now we are coming to the next stage of our life that is called adolescence. Describe the teenage. That is between 19 to 13 to 19 and can be considered the transitional stage from childhood to death. It is the junction of the life. Junction, railway junction. Where you have to depart and take a journey and to reach the next destination of the life. From childhood, you have to reach to the adulthood. So in that, that, that period, they have to travel where everything is partly changing. When we are the, in the train, when we are in the bus, when we are in the flight, the things move so fastly that it is you know, that you cannot concentrate with the thing. And at that moment, this age is very difficult age, and we say the most dangerous stage of the life. And most of the problems that settle into our life is at this adolescent age. Moment. Disorientation and discovery. Adolescence can be a time of both disorientation and discovery. The life can get a, become a very good, or life can become a spoiled. The transitional period can become, bring up the issue of independence and self-identity. You feel yourself independent and thereafter, or you can become dependent on in your life. So that's very important stage of our life. And in any given year, about 20% of adolescents will experience a mental health problem, most commonly depressions or the anxiety. 20% of the uh, adolescents will then are suffering from the depression and anxiety. The risk is increased by experience of violence, humiliation, devaluation, and poverty and suicide is one of the leading causes for the death in the young people. Friends, health is affecting the young child. At that time, at this age, the early pregnancy and childhood, the adolescence, adolescence girl becoming pregnant, HIV factors are there, malnutrition are there, mental health are there, tobacco use are there, and then harmful use of the alcohol are there, violence. These are some of the examples that I am going to mention. These are some of the examples that may be affecting, and they become very much vulnerable to this area very much vulnerable to the area because I told you the most excitable stage of the life, most excitable stage of the life where everything they look, they, they, it, it is the life of the dream. The time of puberty can have important psychological and social consequences. Puberty occurs through a long process and begin, begins with a surge in hormone production which in turn causes a number of physical changes. So adolescence age, that is we call the age of the turmoil. The adolescent growth spurts in a, is a rapid increase in the individual height and weight during puberty resulting from this simultaneous release of both hormones and androgen. Now again, we still find many of the adolescents the thyroid problems are starting just at the adolescent age. And then reproduction related changes take place here. Our, we are becoming um, able to produce, we are able to produce the sex hormones are getting mature. And between the age 10 and 25, the brain undergoes changes that have important implications on our behavior. So cognitive development. Cognitive, that means the, how we get to this age. So improvement in cognitive ability, attention, memory, processing speed, organization, hypothetical and abstract thinking, and revitalistic thinking, wisdom, or the capacity of for insight and judgment and risk taking. So all these areas, these are the building area for the developed cognition. Adolescence is a stage of life in which the individual thoughts start taking more of a flat form and the egocentric thoughts decrease. So, what happens? Here are the problems. Low self-esteem, 
under underestimate about ourselves, depression, premature martial sex, drugs, and criminal antisocial activity. So these are the images that we get. So adolescent substance use are very much important for us. Here, job in society, in this pregnancy, stealing, overdoses, isolations, so many cycles get created with the adolescent age. We, are in, we have entered into the adulthood. Adult attend a full size and structure the stage that you know, that is called the grown up or the mature. And this stage is known as is supposed to have the independent shared and responsibility. The three factors are important for the adulthood: independence. They have to now make an independent their life, and they have to share their life. They are in very important. They have to marry. They have to uh, um, now um, bring a child in the life. So they have to create a family and they have to share the responsibility. So early childhood, it is a young adult, the age late in and early 20. And age 30 transitions closes around 20 to 28 to 30. And setting down for the relative upheaval of the early 30, the middle uh, to the late 30, the establishment phase and middle transition is roughly between 40 to 45 years of the age. Now, stages of the individual movement towards balance and wholeness over time, the key stages in the early uh, adulthood of the so early adulthood is a transitional transition, it is 16 to 24. Then forming of life structure, that is 20. Now we are setting down, you are getting the job, you are getting the employment, you are looking for uh, uh, life structure, it is 29 to 30. And once over man, now you have become more independent completely, it is 35 to 40. It is only estimate, it is variable and changeable. And middle transitions. And then re stabilization the past person is not going to be here. Utoni is the goal to hold for the past. The person you are speaking with has put your call on hold. Please stay on the line. The social contract, the adolescence was created. Adolescence is split into two of biological and adulthood and social. So biologically an adult is a human being that has reached the sexual maturity. And legally that means that one can engage in a contract. For example, excluding parenting rights and duties regarding the person's concerned parent duty, financial responsibility, marriage, voting, having a job, serving in the military, buying, purchasing, fire. So it is the, it is the legal meaning, not the Biological meaning, and as a medical practitioner, we are meant for the legal, biological meaning. So, achieve success, imaginations, dreams, hope, combinations for the human life. So, field examinations for the changes across broad range in the developmental stage. That motor skills, how we are. Um, uh, Body, then cognitive development, executive functions, how we can execute, moral understanding, social changes, personality, emotional development, self concept, and identity development. So these are the factors where you have to look into the case during the case study. How the motor skills is developed, how the cognitive develops, how the executive, how the person is able to execute, can do the things properly, are controlled in nature or not able to the manage the family, the housewife, most of the housewife 
you can say they are unable to take care of their children, then personality, emotional development, and so many factors are there. So examination of the influence of nature and nurture on the process of human constant, uh, human development and process of protection across the time. So we have the interactions between the person ca personal characteristics, the individual behavior, and environmental factors, including social context and built in environment. Six aspects, there are basically six aspects of being an adult. Rationality, that how much you can analyze, you have to examine whether the person is rational or not, able to understand or get convinced or not. Then formulating and implementing a goal, he can implement, do the things properly. Then equality in relationship, then active versus passive life, non-defensive and openness and personal power. So these are the aspects of being the adult. So there are varieties of the biopsychological meta models, but all entails a commitment. So changes, there are variety of the changes are there, but a commitment is there is important for that. And illness associated is aging. An adult body undergoes a variety of physical changes that causes health to decline. Higher risk of contracting a variety of illness, both physical and mental. Now that this is the age you can, the, the seed of the cancer can be shown. It is, has shown that the majority of the cancer cases occur uh, in those over 50 years of the age. Arthritis, osteoarthritis is one of the most common experienced illness in adults as they age. And cardiovascular disease, hypertension, and high cholesterol have also been found to increase the likelihood of acquiring a cardiovascular disease, which are also commonly found in older persons. And immune system, immune system starts to slow and become less effective now. So optimizing health and mental well-being of the child. Now, what what would the person are doing? Whether he is optimizing, he is trying to maintain his health, mental health and physical health. Whether he is exercise, exercising for the uh, making a physical exercise and cognitive effect. Whether he reduces the loss of the function by ten percent to be cardiac activity like walking promotes immunity. These are the factors whether the diet we have to look into the patient's life. So mental stimulation and optimizing are vital to health and well-being in the late adult life. We should understand how much the mental stimulation is there towards the health and the well-being of the adult. So mental exercise, mental community, living, all these factors are very important for the individual life. So, age brings problems, brings concern for every disadvantage, there are the advantage. For every measurable loss, there is an immeasurable gain. This is a good quotation from George Shillon. And now, again, we were born from the prison, now we are going to the prison, from which we cannot escape. So, age is a prison. We age is a prison. We have, as a child, we are prison, and as an adult, also now we are moving toward the prison, age of the prison. Old age. Now, it adds to the respect due to the virtue, but it takes nothing from the contempt inspired by vice. It wipes only the hairs. Old, older people age in different ways and different way, rates. And aging can be measured in terms of four key dimensions. Chronological age, based on the birth rate rate. And biological age, based on the physical changes. And social age, based on the social ex society expectations of the older people. And social, like, uh, social age, the, see the Also, the best fact society expectations 
and psychological aging, people can start becoming old and feel like old much earlier than their maturity. So, wild man who fought and sang in the sun in flight and learned to too late, they live it on it, we do not go gently into the night. The aging process is, of course, a biological reality. It has its own dynamic, largely beyond his control. However, it is also subject to the construction by which each society makes sense of the old age. In the developed world, chronological time plays a paramount role. So, age of 65 or 60, roughly equivalent to retirement age in most developed countries, is said to be the beginning of the old age. In most, many parts of the developing world, chronological time has little or more importance in the meaning of the old age. Other social constructions of age and more significant, such as the role of assigned to the old. In some cases, it is the loss of role, company physical decline, which is significant in defining the old age. In contrast to the chronological milestone, which marks less life stages in the developmental world, old age in many developed countries, it seems to begin at the point when active contribution is no longer possible. The aged body is different physiologically from the younger. Adult body and during an uh, old age, the decline of various organ systems becomes manifest. So we should not compare. People are coming, Dr. Sahib, I cannot run so far. Why? Like, like my son. My son is running more faster than me. So he's trying to compare. This is not the problem. This is the natural aging problem, and he should not compare. So many factors. Some people come with a sex problem. Doctor, my sexual activity is decreased. Why? Can you do it something? We can't do anything. Because that is the maturity and that is the um, declining stage of the organ. So, healthy aging. What is healthy aging? It is feeding, language, activity, adequate nutrition, quality, and functional support and the care. So this is called the healthy age. So age plus significant diseases at the, the geriatric age, we call the geriatric old age, the dementia, arthritis, palliative care, osteoporosis, osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, Parkinson, arthrosclerosis, heart disease, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol are the disease of the age plus. So Elderly people require a specific attention to medication. Elderly people particularly are subject to polypharmacy. Now you see, at the age of, they will come with a box of the medicine, full of the, but this is for diarrhea, this is for the blood pressure, this is for the, so many for, they have the regulatory system in the medicine. Some elder people have multiple medical disorders. Some have self-prescribed many herbal medicines and over-the-counter drugs. And by medicine, and they create medicine themselves. This polypharmacy may increase the risk of drug interactions or adverse drug reactions. The presentation of disease in elderly person may be vague and non-specific, or it may include delirium or false pneumonia. For example, many persons with low-grade fever and thin fever rather than a high fever and in the young people. It may, they may be suffering from now, nowadays, you see the corona. You see the corona. But children, childhood and the early age, you see the high fever. But for the elder, elderly person, the fever will be very low. So these are the factors that we have to understand. Some elder, elderly people may find it hard to describe their symptoms in the world. Why? Because they have lived with their problem. And the, the, they are, they, it seems to be the normal for them. So it is very, uh, and also that they have the cognitive impairment, the memory is lost, they are not able to listen properly, they are not, not able to speak properly, so there are the cognitive impairments are there. 
So increased complexity is the important factor for the uh, adulthood age, for the old age. Delirium in the uh, elderly may be caused by minor problems such as constipation or sometimes something as serious life shaping uh, as a heart attack. Decline on physiological reverse in the organ makes the elderly people some kind of a disease and have more complications from the mild problems. The small, small problems, the digestors are very common in the old age. Mild gastroenteritis is very common in the old age people. Confusion, they are very common in the old people. There are also some geriatric giants. Geriatric giants are the major category of impairment that affects elderly people, especially as they begin to fall. This includes immobility, instability, incontinence, and impairment, intellect, memory, impairment, and vision and hearing loss are common. Uh, chronic problem among the older patients. It is fast. 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 And managing health, healthy elderly patients require special knowledge. And to always search and respect elderly is blessed with the four things long life, wisdom, faith, and power. It is from Dr. Manu Smithy. So if you love your elder people, you can have the long life. Your wisdom will develop because living with the old people, you will develop the, your wisdom. Your fame or your power. This is the this is from quotation from the man of spirit. So life goes on. Whether you choose to move and to take a chance in the unknown or stay behind, locked in the past, thinking of what would have been. This is the this is the journey of our life. It keeps on. My life is imperfect, but I am grateful to you all. Thank you very much. And with this, we have come to the close of this session. You can have questions on my email or the WhatsApp, or you can contact with us. We can have a good more interaction. Thank you very much. Thank you.